What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Ryan, King Ryan Garcia. On Fighting Javante Tank Davis, he says, I'm going to make it look very easy. He says, I'm a great fighter, said Ryan Garcia during a recent media call. There's your clickbait. <laughs> In a lot of ways, the two or the 23 year old has gotten to this point of his career from all those things we decree as the end of modern civilization. Instagram, TikTok, clickbait headlines, and more talk about big fights than actual big fights. That's not Garcia's fault. He's used to it all to his advantage, and why not? Jake Paul is headlining Madison Square Garden in August with five pro fights. None of them has came against a pro boxer until recently. That changes when he faces Haseem Rahman. But the point is, why bash this guy if people are showing up to watch him fight? whether it's to see him win or to see him lose, okay? Now, <clears throat> Ryan Garcia's 22nd pro fight was in April against Emmanuel Tago. Um, the, the Ghana native was a good fighter and a tough out, but he was no Chavez, Gonzalez, or Whitaker. That's life. It's like blaming Vladimir Klitschko for not having a dance partner some of the other heavyweight champions had. Bottom line is that he beat whoever was in his era, different times, so you can blame Garcia <clears throat> for taking advantage of what's out there and making a career of it. Unless you're set to in your ways that you can't move forward, you <laughs> accept what is going on and you move on. Those are the words of Ryan Garcia. Let me counterpunch. What Ryan Garcia is saying is that there's no one to fight in his era. There's no one to fight that's close to the competition that he's talking about. I'll say this. He is at least fighting Fortuna, but yet this is this time last year he's supposed to fight Fortuna, which a lot of people, including myself, thought he was bullshitting people about mental illness. He hasn't been suffering from that shit since he decided to call that fight off. Regardless of what it was, he wasn't ready for that fight. So he picked a shittier enough excuse to do that. When I mean shitty, I mean it, you don't use those type of excuses. Say something else. Don't blame it on something that you don't have. So if he doesn't have it, oh, whoa, be unto him, okay? Because that was quite shitty the way he did that. Because if he didn't have mental illness, he shouldn't have lied about it. That's wrong. You know what I mean? So not calling him a liar, but I just haven't seen any type of him going on public, let me talk about mental illness, let me spread the word, this could happen to me, it could happen to anybody, blah, 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 blah. At least Tyson Fury is still doing that, okay? But, you know, but other words, he's going on and saying it's no one else is out there. You got, dude, you have fighters that would fight him. You got Lenatis. Um, I'm glad he's still finally fighting Fortuna. Um, you got Teofimo Lopez. You can talk about Tank Davis all you want. You got the fucking undisputed champion there, Devin Haney. You know, what I mean, he's acting like he's a like uh, like imaginary or or or, or invisible uh, elephants in the room. Okay, him saying I can make it look easy. Like, what are you? What really are you talking about? But on the flip side, um, Floyd wants to get Javante. No, not Javante. He wants to get Devin Haney in there with um, Stevenson. You know, and said, don't worry about Tank. So since Tank's not doing shit either, why don't you put Tank together with Ryan Garcia and make them fight? Not bullshit the public, not milk it, milk it, milk it, milk it, till people get sick of it. Then you finally have it after one of them has already taken a loss. That's what happens over there. You know, but Ryan Garcia, yes, he's taking advantage of something, but he's not doing anything. As of late, we, we, he better do what he's supposed to do to Fortuna to even make a statement, okay? If he, make, if he can make a statement, that would be, a, that would be one thing. People uh, will be like, cool, he is dangerous. He's, he talks a lot of shit, but he can fight too. But if he goes in there and he looks shitty against Fortuna, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be shitty. Bars, <laughs> right? So... Um, him saying that he makes it look easy with Javante Tank Davis, I think that's the talk of the town. Um, you can talk about fighting everyone without fighting anyone, but at the same time, boosting your profile, fuck it. Why not? It's not the best thing. I want to see people fight. 
but this is what we have, so this is what it is. You guys tell me what you think of Ryan Garcia saying that he would make Javante Tank, a Javante Tank Davis an easy fight. Please subscribe, and you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace!